How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Holy Potatoes, we're in space where we've just beaten the boss and we're about to complete the objective for finding the space cat. So let's do that. The good doctor will hear about this. Faye, did you manage to find the space cat? Is it hurt? I'm scanning for it right now, we'll find it. It must have warped away when we were busy with that idiot. Wait, what was that? Pretty sure it came from the engine room. Eclipse stowaways maybe? Those losers just don't know when to quit. Let's go. Alright, who's there? Come out now. Don't test my patience now, on the count of... Huh? What's going on here? What are you up to in the engine room, little kitty? Ouch, no scratching. Bad kitty. The warp drive core seems to be absorbing whatever essence the space cat has on it. This essence probably just needed a conduit to stay active, and somehow it ended up on the space cat. Or maybe it was put there by someone in the first place. Well, the warp drum seems, drive seems to have sapped it all, it probably won't be able to warp anymore. Can we... No, I know what you're thinking. No. But we can't leave her all alone. Those Eclipse spud butts won't stop coming after her. When did it start becoming a her? Don't anthropomorphize her. Ah, I mean it. It. They'll dissect her and do weird things to her. We can't let that happen. We're responsible for her now. <sighs> What are we going to name her? Mochi works for me. Mochi! Mochi it is. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, kitty. Let's go, Mochi. Thanks to you, the warp drive's working better than ever now. Any idea where we're heading next? No, nope, we'll just hit the warp and see how far it takes us. I bet that helmet guy isn't the only Eclipse goon squad here. We should get out. Ready to go, Mochi? Spud, yeah, that's our kitty. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. If you press space too much, it automatically goes into uh, explore mode. Alright, I think we need to get a Taha taxi back to the hub. And I think we've explored everywhere we have, yeah. Alright, so this is going to cost us a fortune. But never mind. Never mind. Back to the star hub. We only have three souls left. We need to get out, I understand. What do we got as far as weapons go? Oh yeah, we got the, the Scorcher now. That's cool. Let's sell off our extra shit. So we'll sell off all our plans here. We'll sell this because I don't want it because it's not very good. We'll level 2 flashbang. What does this do? It's a missile launcher. Oh look, we got another Hop Scorcher. Dude, we need to make that. Ah, oh, we'll hang on to the level 2 ones. We'll sell these old ones. The pacifists that they keep trying to push on me because I don't I don't want it. Okay, I don't want it. Okay. Sold some stuff. Let's get back in here and start crafting things again. Kinda wanna make this hop scorcher. So we have two. That's our crafter. Every crew member also has their own abilities. I didn't mention that, but they do. Some are good at certain things, some are better at combat, some are better at crafting, etc, etc. Let's see what we can get as far as upgrades go for the ship. We'll get hull reinforcement level 2. Uh, we will get the charge capacitor, we can afford that. Can we afford the shield generator? We can. We want high shield and less regen. I think that's probably better. Okay, and we'll grab the level 1 research lab. And now we're poor again, so now we're going to jump into the gate, onto our next mission. And here we are. Where is everyone? The only edibles I see around this galaxy are hub employees and the travelers or pirates. Shouldn't there be more edibles around? I tried talking to edibles all around the hub and they told me that the others are just kind of sleeping. They have no idea what happened either. They say that it's always been like this. That's kind of creepy. They're all wearing some sort of military uniform. I've never seen this emblem before. Hey look, these crates are full of weapons and stuff. And dust. Achoo! Rations, radios, medkits. They're all really old military stuff. There's more over here. And look at that hang- at their hangar. So many ships. Were they preparing for a war? Oh, there's a recorded distress message here. Let's see it. Maybe we'll get some answers. Bzz, this is bzz, bzz, they bzz, all the ships uh, attacked us. Queen Julia bzz, need help. Bzz, sleeping can't wake. 
Cool. Z z reinvents. That's all. We can barely hear anything. Sounds like Queen Julia was in trouble or something. Hmm, this whole sleeping thing reminds me of one of those old fairy tales Gigi told us a long time ago. Do you remember? The one where the princess falls asleep and her whole kingdom falls asleep too and she's rescued by a prince? Yes, so? Isn't this kind of similar to that fairy tale? There's even a princess here too. This is a queen. Let's go find the source. Maybe we'll find the princess there too. Then we can rescue her. Again, it's not a princess. It's a queen. Queen Julia. Is there a way to find the source? Maybe we can modify the radar to track unnatural energy sources or something. Do we really have to? The queen is probably long gone by now. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Come on, Faye. We gotta get the materials we need to modify the radar and rescue the princess. You're totally not listening, eh? Sleeping Beauty. This is our next mission for this sector. Uh, we'll see what the hub has for sale. I don't know why that happened. I said hub. Let's see what new uh, ship upgrades we got here. We can get the next level. Oh, we got no money though. Guess we're coming back here later. Let's uh, head on out and see what we got to do. Complete objective? Oh, he needed nanofibers, but we've already got enough. That's handy. Done. Turn the radar on, Faye. Is it getting any readings? It's getting readings on an energy source some distance away. Okay then. Great Captain Cassie of the Tuba Mover. To the rescue! We're not rescuing anybody. Is this the one? We must have gone through at least 10 of those energy sources. Oh, now you're complaining. Anyway, this should be the one. It's the largest one after all. Oh wow, look at this place. It's like a battlefield here. So many shipwrecks. Some of these look like the ones in the hangar. The source looks like it's coming from inside the ship. These look different. Are these the enemy ships? Also, is it just me, or do they look like Eclipse ships? Hmm. What's with all these thorny plants? Oh wow, the vines are practically eating up the space, the ship pieces. Look at the size of these vines. Some of them are as big as a meteoroid. Yeah, and there's so much of it. I think I see a large building behind these thorns. Oh, the thorns! The princess's castle was surrounded by thorns! We gotta get through the thorns! Really? Look at the size of these plants! I don't think we have anything to cut through these things. Maybe we could go somewhere and find something to cut through thorns. Where could we possibly find something to do that? Let's explore the planet, see if we can find anything that can cut through the vines. Alright. Mission begin. Uh, let's go here first. Should be fine. And we'll work our way around. You also have a, a maximum jump distance. So if a planet's too far away, you can't jump over there. It's kind of frustrating. What's this Hopscorch's damage? 58 to 86, and this one is 55 to 83. I might just put two Hopscorches on for now. Because I really like them. Alright, let's go. To infinity and beyond. Exploring. It's a cool looking weapon too. Cassie, a meteor is headed straight for us. What do we do? Uh, shields up. They pull up the ship shields just in time to block the meteor from crashing. Head on into the ship. The ship rattles with the impact of the meteor on the shield. Whoa. How's the ship looking? Not too bad. We've taken a little bit of damage. Easily repairable. Hull HP minus 58. That's not... That's quite a lot, really. Here we go. Combat time. There's a leak. Fire on the missiles. So this is our chain weapon. As you see, it hits everything. It hits the shield, it hits both weapons. It hits everything at once. That's why I like it. Because you're damaging everything at once. It does less damage, but it hits all round. Fire! I'll say it's quite high HP, the weapon. Tends to miss a lot though. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept one of the pea shooters on. I think I might have made a mistake taking that pea shooter off. Oh well. I'm sure we'll manage. We can't seem to hit this missile launcher at all. We're wasting that pacifier, but we can't hit the missile launcher. Not that one. That one. Oh, okay, we can fire both. Cool. Fire! It is a cool weapon though. There you go. See, we took out one we weren't even targeting. 
We're gonna gouge slot two because it's getting pretty hurt up there. Yeah, we're gonna go back to a pea shooter. I like to keep one hop scorcher, but I've never used two before. I don't like the low accuracy of having two. This is our first enemy. If we get a lot of enemy encounters, we could be in trouble. Yeah, we took out a shield though, that's nice. Pacifist level 2. I still don't want the pacifist, regardless of what level it is. Alright, what do we got next? Oh, it's Dr. Watt again. Exterminate, exterminate! Cassie and Faye hear a robotic voice sounding through the marketplace. That doesn't sound very friendly. They definitely are not friendly. In fact, they are my mortal enemies. Oh wait, what? Cassie and Faye turn around to see that that strange potato and tweed crouching behind them and peering over their shoulder, his eyes darting around frantically. Hi Cassie, hi Faye. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, what are you doing here? Hiding from my mortal enemies, of course. Could you help me get back to the Tarbus? I need to avoid them and get out of here. Okay, where is it? He points Cassie and Faye in the direction of the Tarbus, and they make their way over, hiding it behind their backs. The robotic voices get further and further away until they don't hear it anymore. Phew! I think they're gone. Thanks for the help. He runs back to the Tarbus, and slips back inside the police box. He quickly pops his head out again. You do still have that thing I gave you, right? Right? Good. Just checking. He slips back inside and shuts the door, and the Tarbus makes a few whooping sounds and fades away from view. Interesting, I wonder where that storyline's gonna go. What do we got now? There's a pretty big asteroid in our way. Let's blast our way through. Yeah, we've done this before. We got Biowaste plus 10. Okay. Alright, we need to do a bit of reconfiguration on the weapons there. Because I am not thrilled with the performance of these weapons. Yeah, we're going to put the pea shooter back over here. I like having the accuracy that the pea shooter provides. I want to make this flashbang missile, let's make that. I'm curious to see how good that is. Alright, let's travel. We are going to hit this planet now. Asgen. Fuel's always an issue. Fuel pisses me off, man. And taxi getting a taxi back to the hub is so expensive. Such a waste. Okay, that's C class. I assume that's not very good. Let's build the level two pacifist as well. I know it wants me to have the pacifist. I'm curious to see what a level two one's like. Okay, what does this do? 47 to 71, 20 percent chance to blind. That's pretty good. Still. I'm not thrilled, I don't really want it. Let us explore. Start. Okie dokie. While roaming the skies above Asgen, the ship's onboard metal detection system picks up the signs of an ornate chest half buried in the side of a hill. A treasure chest? There's got to be treasure inside. Bring it up, Faye. Sure. Cassie rushes to open the chest as soon as it's brought on board. Oh, here goes nothing. Is that a bomb? Oh no, throw it out, throw it out! They did not manage to throw it out in time, and it explodes in the ship, damaging the hull. Hull HP minus 115. That's okay, it's worth it, just to see what was in there. Nobody got hurt, it's all good. Traffic jam again, can find another way around. Yep, that went well again. Come on, I need enemies. Dr. Watt again. A familiar police box phases into reality in the tuba mover. The familiar potato in a tweed suit steps out and looks around in confusion. This isn't where I want to be. Where is this? Who are you two? Don't you know us? We keep running into you. And you seem to know us. Actually, who are you? We never got your name. Huh? I'm the doctor, of course. Nice to meet you. Doctor what? Exactly. Dr. Watt flashes a brilliant grin at them. Faye remembers that he had, or is that he will have, given them a sonic hammer to keep to himself when he meets them for the first time. Hand him the... Oh. 
Now where exactly am I? What time period? What galaxy? What planet? What? Beep beep beep. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Oh no, Tarbus, where are you going? Don't go away, come back here. The Tarbus fades away into nothingness, leaving Dr. Watts standing there, staring into empty space. Oh no. Where did the Tarbus go? I need to find it. I need it to, to go track it down. I need to to Feeling guilty, Cassie and Faye offer him a position on their ship until he manages to find his ship again. Dr. White joined your crew. Nice. I knew something would pay off from that. We got a new crew member. We got Dr. Watt now. Didn't have any fights there. Oh, we got too many people. We have to fire somebody. Aaron specialist, combat specialist, laser specialist, crafting specialist. You're a crafting specialist as well. Shrapnel crafting and blue collared. Shrapnel craft master and missile crafting. I don't want to get rid of anyone. I like you all. Master researcher and artisan level one. We're going to have to dump one of these crafting specialists. George Looney, I guess. Fired. We won't be able to hire him again. That's sad. We need to increase our s the size of our ship so that we can put more people on it. I know there's an upgrade we can do with that. Okay. Are you building this? You build this. Get on it. Let us travel. That's too far away. We can head back to the hub. Get fueled up. Get healed up. And then move out again. That'll work nicely for us. Maybe we can get an upgrade to expand our crew quarters. It's a little bit late now, though. Oh, B-class. Is that any good? I hope it is. Uh, do we have living quarters? Here we go. Crew capacity up to... What's it? Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, that's alright. I can sell stuff. Not that. This. What is this? 31 to 61 damage. Believe 20% chance to weaken. I don't really like that. I might keep hang on to that extra hop scorcher though. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. I don't think we have enough money still, but we'll have a look. Oh yep. Cool. Not that we're gonna get a chance to use it now, but whatever. <sighs> Let us travel. To Malite. Malite? Whatever. Let us go. We haven't found anything for those thorns yet. We got quite a few souls left though, we got a bit of time. We can do some exploring. It's all good. There's lots of exploring to be done. I want a high level pea shooter, I want a level 2 pea shooter now. That'd be great. Faye ambles over to the mountain of scrap metal and uses tools strewn all over the junkyard towards Cassie. Find anything? There's nothing over there we can use to cut through those vines. Nothing close. I think I found something, but I can't really reach it. It's under this pile of rubble. But I see it, like, right there. I just can't reach. Ugh. Faye stares at Cassie as she tries to retrieve whatever, whatever it is she may have found. The entire top half of Cassie's torso wiggled with much difficulty, trying to get in the small gap in the rubble. Shoot at the pile of rubble. Almost got it. Ugh. I got this. Roll away. What do you mean? No, no, don't you dare shoot at this thing with me in it. I can't see you, but I know you're going to do it. <laughs> Faye doesn't really pay Cassie any heed. Whips out her handy dandy mini laser pointer as she she keeps on her for self-protection and fires a single shot at the mound of rubble. The rubble near Cassie shifts loose, revealing a giant pair of shears that will make short work of those thick thorny vines surrounding the castle. Huh. Those look perfect. Holy crap. We could clip jail bars with these. That'd be handy for when you go to jail for finally shooting my head off one day. I'm confiscating that thing from you, you trigger happy gun nut. Faye twirls her handy dandy mini laser pointer with her fingers, holsters it in her utility belt and winks at Cassie. Please refrain from infringing on my rights. Giant <laughs> shears plus one. Nice. Alright. Time for some combat. We haven't had a lot of combat recently. 
It's been very combat light. I mean, looking forward to getting some combat on. Boom. Time to get our combat on. Fire! We're doing okay in combat here. We're doing, we're doing alright. We've struggled a bit, I must admit, this time. Seeing everything's quite random, it's sort of, uh... Sometimes you can have it pretty easy. Sometimes it gets... it can be pretty difficult. It's just random, really. But we're doing okay. He's gonna pass and then bugger off, that's good. Boom Barrage level 2? Hmm. I quite like the Boom Barrage level 1 in the end. Alright, we got the shears. So we can complete our objective. Yes, we're through. Can't believe we actually managed to find something that can cut through these things. There she is, the princess. Captain Cassie is here to save the day, never fear. This must be Queen Julia then. Can't believe she's still alive after all this time. Makes me wonder what preservatives she uses. Pretty sure this sinister looking machine has something to do with all this. Can you disable it or something? Hack it? I don't know, use your nerdy superpowers? I don't know, I have no idea what all these controls do. I can end up, end up putting us to sleep if I press the wrong button. I know what to do, stand back. Um, Cassie, why are you taking out your wrench? You're not going to be able to reverse engineer this. I, the great Captain Cassie, shall defeat the dragon and free the princess from her slumber. Crash. I should have seen that coming. The dragon has been defeated. Queen Julia. Hmm, what's going on? Good morning, your majesty. I am Captain Cassie. This is Faye. And we are the ones who have freed you from your slumber. Oh, thank you so much, Captain Cassie. My edibles are in your debt. It was no problem, your majesty. May I ask what happened? We were attacked. One day, we were just going about our business as usual. And there had been no warning. The enemy wanted to take our galaxy to use as a stronghold. We tried to fight back. But, I don't know what they did, but, well... You've seen what kind of state we were in. Do you have any idea who did this? Yes, it must have been that commander. That potato with the goggles and moustache. He's their leader after all. The potato with goggles and moustache? Yes, in fact his goggles are very similar to yours. Very similar. The commander with goggles similar to mine? That kind of sounds like... Gigi? I'm sorry, did you say something? Oh, it was nothing. Nothing at all. We should really be going. We have other things to do. Oh, you're not staying, Captain Cassie? I was going to have a feast to thank you. That's yeah, fine, I didn't do this for fame or glory. Or to marry a fair maiden. Goodbye, your majesty. Goodbye, and thank you so much. Well, now that they're gone, it's time to get things back on track. I've already lost so much time thanks to that commander. So many galaxies to conquer, so many planets to enslave. It's gonna... <laughs> I don't know words, those. That's not English. Or anything. I don't know what that is. Alright, we're done in this galaxy apparently, but we might as well explore a little bit before we go. That one's unexplored. That one's unexplored. Uh, we'll head here I guess and work our way around past the rainbow planet. That'll work for me. There was no boss here. That's a shame, I was looking forward to a boss fight. So we haven't explored this planet yet, again, or this system, or whatever the fuck it is. Ah! Confusing. Alright, craft this boom barrage then. That went badly, Jesus. Well... Let's do it. Let us explore. Carrots! You shall be defeated, carrots! Fire! We just can't miss. Don't miss. Make sure every hit is perfect and not missing. We can't afford to miss. Or have our weapons shot off. <laughs> I really, really don't want my weapons shot off right now. Ow. It's doing a lot of damage to our weapons right away. 
Great, that was good. We're gonna protect slot two now. Fire. God damn slot two, stop missing so much. Good block though, well done. Like you have any control over your block. Off you go then. 1500 bucks. That's badass. Pea shoot level 3. Dude, we want that. I want that so bad. That thing's gonna be epic. Faye, did you hear that? Knock. Yes. Knock. Is that, uh, coming from the airlock outside the ship? Yes. Knock. Outside the ship while we're out here in space? Uh huh. Cassie and Faye exchanged deeply concerned and creeped out looks and turn back to the door as it goes. Knock. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Lots of knocks. Spud over witnesses, maybe? Open the airlock. The airlock hisses open sinisterly and they hear a clanking of metal on metal as the foreign body trembles through the external door of the airlock. Cassie and Faye approach the inner door of the airlock cautiously and peer through the viewing panel. They can't see anything, but they can hear it breathe heavily and sloppily. And then barely audibly, they hear a small voice. Help. They burst through the inner airlock and find a potato with a molten silver skin sprawled on the floor of the airlock. He thanks them for letting him into the ship and saving his life and tells them that he can't remember why he was stranded in the middle of nowhere. And he doesn't know where to go. But for saving his life, he's willing to be at the beck and call. Cassie welcomes him onto the ship, saying that free labour will never be turned away on the tuba mover. Faye isn't entirely convinced this is for the best. Silver Sputter joined your crew. Silver Sputter? Very cool. Now what? Oh, asteroid, blast it. And we get ten ore this time. Get different resources every time we blast an asteroid. Interesting. Now what? There's a distress signal. It's a cargo ship. They're stranded and asking for help with repairs. Really? What do they need? They need some materials to patch their ship up. And they're willing to pay for the help. I think our engineers could probably do those repairs without the extra materials though. What do you think? Let's send some of our crew to help. Faye beams a few of their engineers over to the cargo ship, and they help the ship finish up their repairs. They are sent back with praise and commendations from the captain of the cargo ship, and a tidy sum of starch. Good job everyone, drinks on Faye at the space bar. Plus 600 bucks, nice. Now what? Lonely crate. What's that doing there? Faye spots an open crate sitting next to the tube mover. Upon closer inspection, it has no label on it, and no other information could be found from it. The crate is full of resources that they could use. Find his keepers! Since there's no owner, anyone can claim it. Faye drags it back onto the tube mover and adds it to their stock. Or plus 17, nice. And we're done here. Nice. And we got the A-class Boomy Bang Bang Shrapnel Majigger. Very nice. The Boom Barrage. What's his accuracy? 70%. What's the accuracy on this one? 85%. This is less accurate? Dude, that's not cool. But this thing's already shit accurate. Uh, I guess I'll leave that one on then. Yeah. Fuck it. Alright, well, we are technically done here, but I want to explore the rest of the sector before we leave. And we will continue finishing up the sector in the next episode. We will finish exploring whatever planets we can in the time we've got available, and then we'll move on to the next mission. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.